This is the third stage of the Apollo Saturn V launch vehicle. Like the second, it uses super cold fuels, liquid oxygen, 20,000 gallons of it, which must be stored at 273 degrees below zero. And 63,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen, stored at minus 423 degrees. If these temperatures are not maintained, both turn into gas and become worthless as propellants. The third stage has one J2 engine, shown here in a static test. It develops a thrust of 200,000 pounds. The stage is over 58 feet high and 22 feet in diameter. When fully fueled, it weighs 130 tons. In flight, the third stage ignites after second stage burnout. This is approximately 117 miles above the Earth and traveling 15,300 miles an hour. The height is enough for Earth orbit, but the speed is too slow to maintain it. So the third stage burns for just over two minutes to boost the speed to 17,500 miles an hour, then shuts off. But the third stage's job is not over. After orbiting long enough to pinpoint its precise position and trajectory, the stage must reignite on command to push the spacecraft toward the moon. To escape the Earth's gravity, it must accelerate to 24,300 miles an hour, an engine burn of about six minutes. Then, once the spacecraft is in its lunar trajectory, the stage shuts down. And even though it still provides orientation for the spacecraft, its powered flight is over. The Apollo Saturn V third stage starts at the bottom as an aluminum airframe, a cone-shaped fairing that connects the two stages. The thrust structure distributes the force of the engine equally around the fuel tank. The aft skirt assembly fits between the interstage and the propellant tank. The tank assembly is actually two tanks. At the bottom is a liquid oxygen tank. At the top, the liquid hydrogen tank. This design, using a common bulkhead, saves both weight and size. The forward skirt supports the instrument unit, the top and final part of the launch vehicle. After the major sections are assembled, the J-2 engine is installed with other internal systems. The hydraulic system that furnishes power for gimballing the engine. The electrical system providing basic power. The telemetry system to send flight data back to ground stations. The environmental control system, the flight control system for pitch, roll and yaw control of the vehicle. And ullage control to push the fuel against the bottom of the tank for reignition, necessary since the stage is weightless during its operation. After checkout of its systems, the stage is static fired at full thrust and full duration at the Sacramento test area. After completing these firing tests, the stage is shipped to the Kennedy Space Center to take its place in the Apollo Saturn V launch vehicle.